Hey guys, everything new under the sun. All right, back at it. And uh, yesterday was the 70th anniversary of Israel becoming a nation, a significant point in time. I think this kicks off the last 10 years of human history. And if you watch my Sunday broadcast, um, you'll know why I believe that. Um, that I believe that 2028 is pr plus or minus a couple years. I think that is a very plausible date uh, for uh, effectively the, the return of the second coming of the Lord, the return of the Lord, and the wrap-up of world history and human history. And if you watch that, you'll also know that uh, around 2021, plus or minus a couple of years maybe, is the start of the seven-year tribulation. I think we're that close. If you haven't watched that video, go back and watch that video. I have the whole timeline laid out for what years I believe uh, things will happen, why I believe it will happen. Uh, and I looked at several articles, sites, and examples, uh, and, and, and dates. And just to give you an indication of what I think is coming down the pipe. I think only about 200 people watch that. So if if you're watching this, go watch that. This is an update on the current situation in Israel. Of course, they had the uh, embassy unveiling the 70th anniversary um, celebrations. And we had lots of violence as well. A, a huge number of, um, uh, of injuries and, and deaths uh, related to Gaza protests. So this first article is uh, related to the embassy itself. Iranian hardliner, hardliner group offers $100,000 to blow up the new U.S. embassy in Jerusalem. They're trying to get rid of it, and boy, are they angry. This is from the thegatewaypundit.com. A hardliner Iranian group offered 100000 to any Islamists willing to blow up the new U.S. embassy. And uh, I can imagine there's a lot of people who are thinking about this. And there's, uh, there's an image from the article. A student organization close to the supreme leader of the Islamic Republic of Iran just set a hundred thousand reward to anybody who attacks it, and you, so you know that this is going to um, uh, start happening here. A group known as the Iranian Justice Seeker Student Movement is reported to have disseminated posters calling for an attack on the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem. Uh, it goes on. I'll put the link in the uh, description, but you can you can look at it. One hundred thousand dollar prize for the person who destroys the illegal. American embassy in Jerusalem. So that this is a this is now a big uh, uh, burr under the collar of, of the Arabs, um, uh, the the Palestinians, the so-called Palestinians, etc. Related to the clashes that have occurred, dozens of Palestinians dead in a border clash uh, with Israel as embassy opens in Jerusalem. So this happened yesterday. This is the biggest news, obviously. This is hugely prophetic, and like I say, they they are upset about it, and Israel is likely going to have to do something about this if they keep up with this. Likely, they are going to have to fulfill uh, Psalm 83 and uh, go to war against the uh, nations directly surrounding them because uh, um, the Palestinians now, uh, Hamas, is now threatening possible missile attacks and uh, Israel's not going to put up with uh, more missile attacks. They're going to go in and wipe them out, wipe out the inner circle of nations around uh, directly bordering Israel. And that's Psalm 83. And then you have, from Psalm 83, you have the escalation to Isaiah 17, the destruction of Damascus. Well, dozens killed as protests erupt along Israel-Gaza border as U.S. opens embassy just yesterday. And we are, like I say, we are living in biblical times. Uh, be excited. The return of the Lord is near. These things are prophesied to happen uh, in the Bible, these, uh, these events in the Middle East. At least three of 52 Palestinians reportedly killed Monday in clashes ahead of the Jerusalem opening were armed terrorists caught trying to plant a bomb near the Gaza fence. More than 35,000 protesters amassed at, dozen, at a dozen locations along the security fence. And Hamas is basically um, promising to have more protests and even possibly lob some missiles over there in response. Gaza health, health officials told new, the news agency that 52 people so far have been killed on Monday's violence, 1,200 wounded as the uh, Israeli special forces were helicoptered uh, out uh, during the embassy opening um, to uh, the border to deal with these threats. The relocation of the embassy from Tel Aviv, a key campaign, campaign promise of Trump, has infuriated Palestinians who seek Jerusalem as a future capital. The IDF patrol f uh, foiled a bomb-laying attack by a cell of three armed terrorists near Rafa, close to the border. This is a particularly violent protest point. The troops responded with fire at the terrorists. The terrorists were killed. So in self-defense, Israel has killed three terrorists as they were trying to bomb and um, kill Israelis, kill Israeli soldiers. So this is significant. 
Uh, there's video on this particular. This is from FoxNews.com, so you can check it out. I won't. I won't run that. Um, but this is what's occurring right now in Gaza protests. Uh, right now, as we as we speak, pretty significant stuff. So, uh, anyways, you can check out that that link. I just want to show you that to you. This is from Haaretz.com. Tens of thousands attend funerals for 60 Gazans killed in border protest. And this is just going to uh, increase the violence, increase the frustration in general, and uh, make it uh, even uh, worse for uh, the IDF, basically, to um, protect Israel. Uh, U.S. blocks Security Council statement calling to investigate Israel over the pro uh, protest death toll. Former CIA chief Cong congressman condemn Israeli use of excessive force or calling uh, Israel uh, on excessive force. Israel's army deploys for second day of projected mayhem. So we're in the second day. They are projecting mayhem today and they're on the highest of high alerts. And they were on very the highest uh, alert yesterday, of course, during the, the uh, embassy opening. Hamas conveyed indirect messages to Israel on Monday night that it may change tact, uh, tack in the uh, Gaza protests, but Israel isn't certain whether the group really aims to rein in violent demonstrations, which claim the lives of 60. Um, by live gunfire on Monday, funerals of Monday's casualties are expected to take place Tuesday, and Tuesday um, it is, I think we're about 12 hours out uh, from Israel, um, so, you know, it's, what is it, uh, evening there? Whatever 12 hours from now is. Yeah, evening there, uh, if we're 12 hours out. Rallies are expected in large West Bank cities, as well as general strike. It was decided during last night's Palestinian leadership meeting to transfer the Israeli settlement case to the International Court. So they're pushing everything they can to the International Court, trying to get the world on their side, etc. Um, so there's a timeline of events here. Um, the day Donald Trump was crowned king in Jerusalem. <laughs> the opinion piece there. Um, that, that they're celebrating uh, Trump because he is really uh, pushing uh, the recognition of Jerusalem. And this is very biblical. And of course, this is upsetting uh, to uh, the Arabs in, in the area there uh, because they want Jerusalem. They want to wipe Israel off the map. They, they don't like anything that cements Israel's uh, position in Israel. If, if it even needs to be cemented, it does not. Uh, but they don't like anything that uh, further uh, cements it. And so they're, they're pretty, uh, pretty upset here. Putin, there's an article that uh, Putin in Russia, that the, uh, the congressmen there, the senators, are trying to wake, make a way so that Putin doesn't have to resign, but can stay president effectively um, uh, for the foreseeable future, and, and so that there's no end to his term. And uh, that, I don't have that article up, but that plays directly into Gog Magog, as you can see, um, uh, with Putin uh, basically uh, looking for the oil, um, looking for the spoil and being drawn in by the hooks in the jaw in the Gog Magog Ezekiel 38 uh, reference, um, and so they're going to be drawn into a war, and it's it's this is further further escalation. Things are not getting quieter in the Middle East; they're getting louder, and this is pretty significant. Well, here's the last article. This is Debka.com. Palestinians promise spectacular violence for U.S. embassy dedication. Uh, this was uh, the, the article prior to the embassy. Israel was on maximum alert Monday, May 14th, for the historic dedication of the first U.S. embassy. Hamas threatened to do itself with violent mass surge, and that's exactly what they did. 35,000 protesters, and they're, um, they're going to do more. Um, so the IDF um, basically uh, cleaned house there in general and, and kept Israel safe. Nothing huge came out of it. Um, apart from the deaths, and that, that death is on the Gazans themselves. They put themselves in the way. They were at the protest. Um, Israel is just protecting its uh, sovereign uh, land. Uh, so uh, check out debka.com for, for latest information on this as well. I want to end it there. It's just kind of a follow-up, a wrap-up of uh, kind of what happened yesterday. There was no apparent uh, real trouble as it relates to the embassy uh, opening and the 70th uh, celebrations themselves, there were no successful, uh, you know, killing of Israelis that I've seen yet uh, in Israel. So that's that's good uh, uh, for Israel. Uh, but there were uh, some deaths of the Palestinians, and um, and that's sad. Uh, they shouldn't have went to the protests. They shouldn't be protesting this. Uh, you know what? There's lots of Palestinians who live in Israel and are quite happy and are not protesting. Israel said originally, look. 
Palestinians, you can come in and live in Israel as long as you live and work in, at, in peace and at peace with the Jews. That's the option that uh, the Palestinians have. They can live at peace with the Jews if they want, and the Jews will accept them. Israel will accept them. They don't want it, though. They don't want peace. They just want to drive Israel into the sea, and they want the whole land to themselves. So this has been an update for what is occurring. Um, we'll keep updated. I'll, uh, I'm sure there's uh, many more days of uh, interesting uh, things to come. And I think this kicks off the last 10 years, and maybe we're within three years uh, of, the, uh, of the peace covenant, the seven-year uh, treaty, the tribulation period. We're within three years, I believe, of that. So look for things to ramp up. The next video I'm going to do is about the earth groaning and the volcanoes and the lava flows around the ring of fire, which, again, I think is very interesting as it relates to the end times. Check that one out, guys. If you don't know Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, he's coming back soon. Get saved. I can't say that too often. Get saved, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.